Greetings, all Shard Vixen here. So, what we're doing today is another Al John, following another Al John video. And we're going to make envelopes, because I like the envelopes. And again, it's another one of Thank you. Why'd you have to do it right then? Couldn't you have done it in the garage? I like things I can make patterns for, and I've made the pattern. So here's my pattern. Again, has my instructions on it. We're going to make it big first, and then we're going to start, like I did before, go smaller. Then we're going to decorate it, maybe. So what I have here is a painting my son made a long time ago for me. And I'm going to make it into an envelope. Why? Because I can't. He didn't want it, so I'm going to use it. First, we have to do is make it into a square. I am lousy at measuring, so I'm just going to do what everyone else in the world does for making a square. Is make a triangle out of the paper to make the square. Okay, there we go. I like folding things because they don't always have to line up. Okay, so then we're going to cut this. Now, his painting pieces are very tactile, so pieces of it comes off. But that's alright, because still we used. We're going to cut that. Again, paper can be used later, so we'll put in our scrap thing. This was made with oils, I'm thinking. It smells like it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to unfold it. Now, that's the first part of it. I haven't made very many of these, so I have to use my pattern to tell me how to do the thing. The next thing is we're going to fold it in half. Now, the only reason you're going to fold it in half, really, is to get the center line. Now, I like marking my center lines with the folds because that makes it easier for me to see it later. See, this has a fold in it. Then we're going to fold this part. I'm going to say you probably fold right-handed. I do. And I'm going to guess probably Amy does because maybe she's right-handed or maybe that's how she learned it. But I'm sure you could fold it this way if you're left-handed. So, in fact, we'll do it that way just because it's good for your brain. So you're only going to go over a little bit over that middle line. So like about there should be good. I would think. She measures. I don't major things. I told you that. If I can get away with it. So there you go. Now, you're going to do, once you do that with that, you're going to take this little flap and go back across your line, center line there and make another fold. So you have that thing, that little tippy right there. Right? Then you're going to make this fold, which you have to fold that down. Again, I'm right-handed, so it probably would look like this if you were left-handed. And you're going to go all the way to where that tip is. Okay, do you see the envelope now? There it is. Okay, and then you open it up. Voila! All the way open. And you're going to go to the middle with this. Okay. Now, this is where you would glue this one down. I'm not going to glue it yet. Okay. Because now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this on that fold like this. Okay. And then I did this. This is not... Technically, I don't remember if this is how she did it, but I did this because what happens when I do this, and again, if you were left-handed, it would look like this. And if you're right-handed, of course, it will look like that. I do this because when I open this up, it's going to show me these little, I don't know if you can see them or not, but it's going to show these little triangles, and you're going to want to cut. Just right there, and right there, like that. And then come back over here. Where'd that piece go? Because I could save it. Save pieces. All pieces should be saved. You can use them for paper mache if you want. There you go. Or collaging or decoupage, whichever you like to do. Okay, so now you got those little corners, and that helps close your envelope. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and glue this one down. 
just this, just this one. I'm only going to glue this one down. This is a heavier paper, so hopefully it likes being glued. I don't know. All right, so we're going to go in there with that. Then we're going to fold it up, remember, to the right there. Now, what's going to happen, and this may or may not happen because I got this oil paint on here. I didn't try it beforehand. But now, I'm going to fold this one over, remember? And we're going to glue that one. But we only want to glue this edge right here. So I'm Like I said, I don't know if it's going to glue or not, so we'll try it. I might have to use a heavier glue because it has the oil base on it. But we're going to try it anyway. And we're going to close it over to this side. Okay. Then we're going to take this side. And you're going to fold that one over. And again, glue just that one side. I'm going to lay on it. Because <laughs> I don't think it's going to glue. So, I do have my other glue. I just got to remember where it's at. I just put a lid on it. Oh, it's up here. So I don't think that's glue in a glue because I think that this stuff is not good for gluing. So we're going to go ahead and use this glue. Because some things don't like glue. Some textures don't like glue. Hold that. Well, as soon as we get the clamp, we can put the clamps on it. that one down okay so there's our envelope now the thing is is you've got an envelope in here and now because of the way you glued it you've got little pockets that you can use if you want you're gonna take this little doodicky here do thicky and you're gonna pull him up and you're gonna fold him now she glued him glued it her I'm sorry, I genderized things. Uh, she's going to glue. I just hit that. Sorry. I'm hoping it's all right. On this one side, I, I did, haven't done that. You probably could glue it. I just folded it, and it was fine. And now you're going to fold this. Okay. And you're going to take it into the little doohickey. Like that. It doesn't want to fold exactly on the crease here. And then there's your envelope. See? And there's your stuff to put in it. And you put stuff on that side. Now I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to put this down on here. I'm going to take my clamps. And I'm going to clamp that one. Because they're not holding. And then I'm going to clamp this one. And then there, I'm going to hold that like that. And it may or may not work. But that gives you the idea. And that was following my pattern. Now, we're going to do it again. But we're going to use a thinner paper on this. There's that. And I really want this to show up. So I've got to think about how that's going to look. So let's see. This is should be a perfect square. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes, um... Scrap paper is a little off from a perfect square, so we'll see. If it's not a perfect square, then I'll have to cut it. Nope, perfect square. So there we go. It looks like a perfect square. It's not folding like a perfect square, but it looks like it's a perfect square. Nope, nope, it's a little off at the, at the very top. Well, that's just problematic. I also have to decide which, which way do we like that. I don't know. Do we want that side or do we want this side? Or do we want to cut it? We could cut it. We could actually, we could actually measure it. Oh my God! Well, she's gonna measure it. We could do. Let's do. We made a big one, so let's do six by. Six. Let's do six all the way around. Okay. So there's our. Not, cr not cricket again. There's six. 
It's going to be crooked. Remember, I don't have a paper cutter. I'm not very good at this, so. There's this one. Then we're going to go. Up. Well, we got 666, don't we? So I want to go right about here, I think. Because I did it right in the middle there. When I whoop. And you'll know if you didn't cut it squared, then it <laughs> won't work real well. I mean, I'll make it work because I'm really good at doing that. See, it is crooked right there already. It went too long. Or I just shortened it up one the way. I don't know. But we're going to cut that now. <laughs> now, here's the other thing. What we have to decide is do I want this on the inside or outside? I'm going to cut this one too. And then I'm going to cut this one. So I like that one. But I'm going to fold it to make sure it's in half. It's probably not a perfect square though. You ask why. Why is she going to do this? Because. Alright. So, question becomes, I like that. I'm going to use this side. What I'm going to do is I'm not, I'm just going to fold it like this. First, I'm going to trim this side a little bit. Where's my, where'd my ruler go? Is that good? Is that good? Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? No, it's not, but that's okay. We're just going to trim it. It's probably not straight. I don't care, but now they're both even, so that's fine. All right, so I want this to be the inside of my envelope. Mostly blue on the other side, so it's going to be fine. All right, so we have to fold it in half. First step. Oops. Fold it in half, and it is crooked, but we can fix that. And that's just me folding it. That's probably not the paper, just so you know. I'm lousy with measurements. Lousy with measurements. Lousy with them. Okay, so we fold it in half. This is where I want my envelope to open up to. Though you won't see all of that, but that's what I want to see. Or do I? Okay, so if we fold it up here, right? Maybe we'll go this way instead. That seems better. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm going to fold it in half. want it that way or do we want it this way might be that way might be cool I don't know I want this picture so I'm thinking about it guys thinking about it. this is my square this is my, my envelope here this is my square it's gonna be folded it's gonna look like that all right so this is oh no it's going to look like that. And this will be on the inside. So that's fine. We'll do it that way. We're going to do it that way. All right, so we got to fold it in half. Fold it in half like we thought. And we're going to fold it in half again. See how you can get lost really quickly on these things. Now this is heavier because it's a double. I could cut it, but I'm not going to because I want a different color on there. Okay, so we're going to go a little bit over. I'm not going to tell you how much over. You can decide that. I, I do notice that if you look at here, here's the tip. That might be possibly be a good way to gauge that. I don't know. Okay, then we're going to fold this back to here. 
I'm going to take this one and put it there. And you're saying, look at all those extras, but this is fine. It's fine. I'm telling you, it's fine. Because you know why? Because you're going to end up with those as extras. Right? Okay, so that's done. Right? Remember? I'm going to take this. Because we have devils, so we have to open them up. What? Yes? Blue boy? Demon cat? I'm recording, so what do you need? I got guns right here. You got guns right where? Me. Oh, those are your guns. You're right. Okay. okay. And so there we are. Right? So we're going to... We're going to glue this one. I think my my other glue is going to work for this. You're basically a dog if you have big muscles. You have big muscles? Yeah, you have good muscles. Cool. Okay. Right, this is so cool. I one. say, I need a gun. And someone said, I have guns right here. You have two of them, huh? <laughs> he's talking about his muscles. Right yep, his muscles. That's what he's talking about. It's his muscles. Actually, okay. three guns. Got to make sure that folds good. Now, this folds a little wonky. Let's see, pull this in, pull that in, pull that in, fold it. Fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it. Okay. I'm going to use that one first. Oh, well, that's all right. I folded it. Because I already have a double, I'm going to end up with a pocket, even though I glued it. We're going to have a pocket right here. See, I'm going to have a pocket right there, so I'm good that I glued it, glued it, glued it that way. And because it is heavier, it's probably better that I glued it that way. I can't do too much of this because it hurts my hands. Okay, and then we're gonna... Uh-oh, you know what we forgot to do? What we forgot to do was cut our things off, so that's all right. But we're gonna do it right now, because you should have glued it. I should have cut it before I glued it, but I'm just gonna do it now, because I kind of know where it's gonna go. So it's fine. It'll be a little over, but I'm not worried about it. So just remember, that's the part you have to remember to do, is cut your, on that thing right there, that didn't get cut very well, but I, I think there's an odd fold right there. You can see it. Okay, so then we're gonna fi fix this. Now, because, I want this to be seen. I'm gonna do something a little different and I'm gonna cut this to there. There. So oh, this one's crooked. And you'll, you know, you'd have to figure out if you want it. But I want that. See, the spray to be seen. I think it's a pretty cool spray. You could have did, I could have left this white and had that in. That probably would have been just as dynamic. Okay, now we're going to fold this. Oh, see? I'm going to have to cut this little guy over here off. He's not quite participating correctly. He's a little too long. But that's all right. Now we're going to open him up. Stick that in there. And there's my envelope. And it's a smaller size than my other envelope. Now, I did make an even smaller one. That goes my back. And there it is. And I do have something in it. Let's see if I can get it out. <laughs> you make things and then it makes it hard for people to get them out. I don't know if I can get it out now. Where's my tweezers? Tweezers in here. I know I put it in there. I folded it in. Yeah, it's all the way down there. 
And then I folded it up. See? Yeah, yeah. See? You are special. And we're going to stick this back in there. And we're going to close it back up. And there we go. I like that envelope. I think they're very cute. Alright. So. Okay. And then. But this, see, is not sticking again. So. Um. Oops. What was that? It was just, it was just glue. It's fine. It's just glue. Somehow that's fine that it's just the glue that dropped. Yeah, but now it's all. You have all kinds of things there. No. Everything stayed in the box. So what we're going to end up doing is getting our clamps out. Excuse me. Because I. <sighs> Dude, I'm recording and you're loud. Okay, I'm not putting anything in this envelope yet. I'm going to wait for it to sit. So, um, and that's it for this one, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. I'm out of here. Peace.